most full speeches are the first sign of weakness, and those who are capable of great things keep their mouths shut. The things hardest to bear are sweetest to remember. We are more often frightened than hurt, and we suffer more from imagination than from reality. The first rule is to keep an untroubled spirit. The second is to look things in the face and know them for what they are. A gem cannot be polished without friction, nor a man perfected without trials. We should not, like sheep, follow the herd of creatures in front of us, making our way where others go, not where we ought to go. We all love ourselves more than other people. But care more about their opinion than our own. You have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this, and you will find strength. A man who suffers before it is necessary suffers more than is necessary. Be tolerant with others and strict with yourself. It is not by muscle, spread, or physical dexterity that great things are achieved, but by reflection. Force of character and judgment. If it's endurable, then endure it. Stop complaining. Anger, if not restrained, is frequently more hurtful to us than the injury that provokes it. Your enemies can kill you, but only your friends can hurt you. The object of life is not to be on the side of the majority, but to escape finding oneself in the ranks of the insane. To bear trials with a calm mind robs misfortune of its strength and burden. Get busy with life's purpose. Toes aside empty hopes. Get active in your own rescue. No person hands out their money to passerby, but to how many do each of us hand out our lives? We're tight-fisted with property and money, yet think too little of wasting time. The one thing about which we should all be the toughest misers. Stop allowing your mind to be a slave, to be jerked about by selfish impulses, to kick against fate in the present, and to mistrust the future. Our plans miscarry because they have no aim. When a man does not know what harbor he is making for, no wind is the favorable wind. Most powerful is he who has himself in his own power. Life is very short and anxious for those who forget the past, neglect the present, and fear the future. Life, if well lived, is long enough. It is not death that a man should fear, but he should fear never beginning to live. Be wary of the man who urges an action in which he himself incurs no risk. The best revenge is to be unlike him who performed the injury. No evil propensity of the human heart is so powerful that it may not be subdued by discipline. If it is not right, do not do it. If it is not true, do not say it. There is never any need to get worked up or to trouble your soul about things you can't control. These things are not asking to be judged by you. Leave them alone. True happiness is to enjoy the present without anxious dependence upon the future. The mind that is anxious about the future is miserable. Why should you feel anger at the world as if the world would notice? When you arise in the morning, think of what a privilege it is to be alive, to think, to enjoy, to love. Difficulties strengthen the mind as labor does the body. Be like the cliff against which the wave continually break, but it stands firm and tames the fury of the water around it. The greatest remedy for anger is delay. No man can escape his destiny. The next inquiry being how he may best live the time that he has to live. If you are distressed by anything external, the pain is not due to the thing itself, but to your estimate of it. And this you have the power to revoke at any moment. How much more damage anger and grief do than the things that cause them? As long as you live, keep learning how to live. Receive without conceit, release without struggle. 
The art of living is more like wrestling than dancing because an artful life requires being prepared to meet and withstand sudden and unexpected attacks. Everything we hear is an opinion, not a fact. Everything we see is a perspective, not the truth. Because a thing seems difficult for you, do not think it impossible for anyone to accomplish. Luck is what happens when preparation meets opportunity. Waste no more time arguing about what a good man should be. Be one. Your days are numbered. Use them to throw open the windows of your soul to the sun. If you do not, the sun will soon set, and you with it. Life's like a play is not a length, but the excellence of the acting then matters. Think of yourself as dead. You have lived your life. Now take what's left and live it properly. Here is a rule to remember in the future when anything tends you to feel bitter. Not this is misfortune, but to bear this worthily is good fortune. The impediment to action advances action. What stands in the way becomes the way. Do not indulge in dreams of having what you have not but reckon up the chief of the blessings you do possess. And then thankfully remember how you would crave for them if they were not yours. Whoever does wrong, wrongs himself. Whoever does injustice, does it to himself, making himself evil. Nowhere can man find a quieter or more untroubled retreat than in his own soul. Silence is a lesson learned through life's many sufferings. We live only now. Everything else is either past or is unknown. A person's worth is measured by the worth of what he values. The things you think about determine the quality of your mind. Your soul takes on the color of your thoughts. Choose not to be harmed, and you won't feel harmed. Don't feel harmed, and you haven't been. Humans have come into being for the sake of each other. So either teach them, or learn to bear them. Very little is needed to make a happy life. It is all within yourself and your way of thinking. If you like solitude, it's a sign that you have inner strength and independent thinking. A man who likes being alone has more ability to appreciate moments of solitude, to enjoy the simplicity of life. The bravest sight in the world is to see a great man struggling against adversity. You are lonely not because no one needs you, but because you care about who is next to you.